Hey, what's up? I'm Dylan from Stupid Raisins, and I'm developing an auto captions plugin so that you can automatically add captions to your videos. Uh, it'll be really helpful for like uh, short form videos like TikToks, Instagram Reels, things like that. So here I wanted to show you the progress we've made. Here's a video the developer sent me, and um, it'll work as a it'll work as an extension in Final Cut Pro. So you'll see here that he. He comes up here, clicks on it, and it opens this up. Um, this is very basic right now, but uh, what you'll do, the first step you'll do is you'll have to export your audio file uh, from your project. You can't just, um, the way Final Cut works and access and things like that, it can't, the plugin can't just read or listen to what you have in the timeline. You have to export it, and then from here, you select your audio file. I'll just play it back while it goes. So he's going to select his MP3. Then you select your um, AI model, what model you want it to use um, to analyze the file. And so then it generates it. And you can see we have all the, let me pause it. We have the uh, timestamps with the words that were being said. It uses AI to figure it out. And then, let me go back just a little bit. You'll see he presses uh, open an FCP, or um, you can export it. So uh, what that does is he clicks on that, and then you pick the library you want these titles to be added to. So most likely you'll see uh, you sh you'll see your libraries here, and you can or you can create a new one, and then uh, select that library. He's going to create a new one here, a test library and then saves it and then when you go back to Final Cut Pro you'll see here's the library you'll see that library you'll see an event in there with um, a project and in that project are all the titles and they're they're trimmed to fit with the um, the speaking what said that kind of thing all right so then what you do is you just copy it and you go back to your project and you'll just paste it on top. Uh, the developer isn't really familiar with Final Cut, so he's struggling here to paste it on top of there. But um, all you have to do is just press um, command, uh, command paste, and it'll put it up there. <laughs> He'll get it. Just let him. Anyway, so he puts it over there, and now it's on top of the video. And as you scroll through, you can see all the different um, text. So. Uh, that is the, that's how it's working right now. I want to show you the design of the app, how it's going to look a little bit more. So this is how it's going to look. It's going to be called Caption Pop. And uh, again, it's just accessed in Final Cut Pro. You'll click on the extensions button, which is up here. Let me see if I have my Final Cut running. Yeah, right here you'll see there's an extension for Frame IO. So you just click that button and it'll be the same for this. And then, um, and then you'll just select your audio or you'll drag and drop it on there. So the first step will be export the audio, then drag and drop or select it. And then from there, you'll click, uh, yeah, select audio. <clears throat> and then um, you'll select your audio file. And then you'll select your captions. Like, uh, do you want to use local processing or cloud? Cloud. Um, so local is typically faster, but not as accurate, I believe. We're still doing tests on that, and we're also testing the model, which model will work best. All right, after that, you pick, then you click continue, and you can see here it's generating captions. Actually, it's downloading the AI model if it hasn't been downloaded already. Now it's generating the captions. And you can cancel it, and it also tells you how much time has passed by. And then, once you've generated the captions, then you have this options here to tweak, edit, and change. So we're going to just start with basic settings for the very first release. You'll be able to change the size, the font, underline it. You'll be able to align it, different alignment options. You have your line, tracking, kerning, spaces, all that, uh, the color, and so on. And then you'll be able to see that over here in this canvas and, um, <clears throat> and see what it looks like. 
before you um, before you open an FCP. Once you like that, then you'll be able to open it in FCP. All right, so that's the first basic version. Um, this is more along the lines of the full version. So uh, the, after it's released and we're you know getting in people's hands and they're using it, then we'll add it to where you can save your projects so you don't have to redo everything. You can quickly go back to those projects and make changes, that kind of thing. We'll also have settings where you can set your default, all your default settings for the different things, text preferences, um, and then uh, you know your styles, your caption styles. You'll be able to save presets that you make, and then caption styles down here where you can go back and recall them. And uh, oh, this is this is something we'll add. These are like captions real bona fide captions instead of um, SRT or instead of titles. So we're talking like SRT files, that kind of thing. All right, uh, let's see. Let's go back up here. So this is the same, it's generating. Okay, and then <clears throat> in the full version, we'll add, of course, we're gonna add outlines, 3D text options, the face options. So, you know, you can change opacity, the color. Um, glow, drop shadow, you'll also be able to change things like, okay, how many words in one line, you know, up to seven or down to one, how many lines, that kind of thing, okay? And then you'll also be able to change your canvas size, um, the color, you'll be able to edit the text right in here. So if the AI model messes it up, you can, you'll be able to click that and you'll be able to come down and change the text. Uh, you'll also be able to preview it in different formats like um, square videos, vertical videos, that kind of thing. Okay, and if you so that's titles. That's going to give you your really um, custom-looking titles. And then um, if you want captions, this is what you'll be able to see here, and the things you'll be able to change. And these are like the captions that have their own special role in Final Cut Pro. And then eventually, we are going to add um, animations to it as well, so that you can have cool different animations to your text. You know, it can instead of just appearing on screen as the person talks, it maybe it grows or expands or it highlights something like that. All right, so um, that is a brief overview of the project and how it's going so far and where it's at. Um, if you want to, I need some beta testers for this, and so if you want, uh, click on the link. I'll I'll give you the link to in the description, and you can submit your email and information here. I'm looking for somebody that makes at least one video a week with captions. Um, I need somebody that makes quite a lot so that we can give this thing really tested out. All right, have a wonderful weekend. I'm excited for this project. Bye.